Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. If you are new to the channel, welcome! I'm Dr. Ghost and I make content for the game World of Warships Legends. Today, we're going to be on Hotspot. It's going to be a domination mode. We're going to be back in the USS Boise or the Boise and we're going to be joined by a couple division mates. We're going to be joined by none other than R. Lewis. He is, a, uh, he is a community contributor for World of Warships Legends. You guys can go check his Twitch channel out um, in the link in the description of the video. We're also joined by Noriko. Um, he also has a YouTube channel of his own. And uh, yeah, we played a few games yesterday. We had some fun. And uh, this is just one of those matches that I did manage to record. And I hope you all do enjoy it. Now, uh, yeah, without further ado, before we get started, just make sure you guys go check out their channels in the link of, uh, go check their channels out, of course, in the link in the description of the video. Go down in the description and follow their, follow their uh, links over there. Give them a, a follow, give them a subscription, help them out. Show them what Dr. Ghost Games here is all about. Spread the love, everybody. That's what we're all about here. So, uh, yeah, anyway, enough talking about that. Um, thank you all, by the way, for tuning in today's video. Happy, um, happy Tuesday to everybody as well. Um, so... Yeah, now we're in the Boise. Obviously, Boise, a Brooklyn-class light cruiser, got very light armor. It's got a lot of guns, 15 6-inch guns, lots of firepower on this baby here. Um, now, the uh, one thing about this uh, as well is it has pretty decent AA. It is American light cruiser at the end of the day. It's a high-tier American light cruiser, so it does have pretty decent AA as well. Now, um, this thing has a kind of meh maneuverability and speed, not the greatest in the world. Um, it's actually one of the slowest cruisers at tier 6, so keep that in mind. Um, and the maneuverability, not very good. This thing takes forever to turn. It's one of those really long, clunky cruisers that really does not have a lot going for it. And by the way, yeah, R. Lewis just dev struck an enemy Benson, getting a first blood and a devastating strike. Ouch. That was dirty. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... Um, what else is there to talk about with the boys here? Really not much else. It's got a good heal, a super heal almost. Um, so keep that in mind. The heal is fantastic here on the Boise. It's also got the standard American sonar. So really, not much else to talk about there. Now, one thing we gotta talk about is the commander build. Let's put the commander build up on the screen for you guys right about now. So yeah, on most of my American cruisers, I run none other than Norman Scott. He is a level 16, legendary 4, fully ranked up. Um, we have Beyond Range, Igniter, Punch Through, Fixated, and the legendary perk we have on is Refill Station. So, take that away. We're going to put up the um, Commander Inspirations now for Norman Scott. So, yeah, we're running Francesco Membelli. Time to make a move. Reduce the reload time of your cruiser's main batteries by about minus 6%. And we have Augustin Riegerwald. Um, he, is, uh, he has Merciless. And, uh, yeah, it decreases the reload by about minus 3%, and increases the main, um, cruiser's AP shell damage by about plus 3%. So, yeah, those are our commander inspirations for Norman Scott. So, now we're gonna start talking about the gameplay a bit here. So, Noriko is, obviously, he is in the King George V. Um, unfortunately, R. Lewis did go down. He did take down a destroyer with him, though, so that's definitely good to point out there. Um... Uh, so, yeah, um, good thing that the uh, Benson is down, but unfortunately we lost, of course, the Asashio um, in for a trade. Um, so, really, not much um, we can do about that. Now, we switch over to the Armor Piercing. I wish I would have done it a bit sooner, um, because that is just such a juicy broadside. But, Noriko's got his AP loaded, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, you can see us in probably the game chat in the bottom left. We were we, we were laughing at that one, that's for sure. <laughs> Alber Marl coming out broadside to short fuse British 14-inch um, guns. Not a very good idea. That's recipe for disaster. Now, speaking of recipe for disaster, what's coming up shortly is uh, I'm about to um, I'm about to get um, well I'm about to test my luck. Let's just say that we got an Azuma. And obviously, I'm like, I'm not going to freaking sit back, okay? I want to push this guy. We got most of our HP. We got a couple super heals. I'm like, let's get balls to the wall. Let's absolutely just rush this guy down. See if we can get on his broadside and nuke him. And that's what we're going to try to do. Now, we got to remember we don't have any armor at all, really. Um, so his 310mm uh, Japanese super heavy armor piercing will go straight through my bow. No issues at all. He'll potentially even dev strike me. So we got to be very careful here. Uh, and it's really iffy. So I come around this corner, and uh, 
we are now starting to rush him down. Really, no matter what angle I give, I'm still going to get penetrated pretty much no matter what I do here. Um, we know this um, because he has three tens. They'll go straight through my bow, just like they did there. There's 6,250. There's another 6,000. That man just hit me for 13,000 damage through my bow with his front guns. That's disgusting. And uh, he's going to, I think, reload in time to, uh, to start slapping me again. Now, speaking of slapping, we're trying to aim our 6-inch guns up into his guns there. Maybe if I get lucky, I can knock out his... His huge ass turrets, but probably not going to happen. And uh, we take another big chunk there, and another big chunk there. We're not doing too healthy, but we are closing the distance here. And uh, we are going to be able to, well, you guys will see it here very shortly. I'm trying to wait for a much flatter broadside, in which we do have it. And we fire all 15 6 inch guns. We get three citadels there. We got nine bounces, unfortunately. We're about to have a reload, though. And yeah, oof, that is dirty. Six citadels. That is our first kill of the game. 50,000 damage. Oof, 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 oof. That is... Woo! I'm lucky to be even alive, though. So I gotta thank RNGesus up there um, for uh, helping me throughout that fight there. But anyways, that was pretty entertaining. I bet you guys don't see every day a Boyce rushing down an Azuma and closing the distance and just citadeling him out of existence like that. That was pretty dirty. That was like straight out of a pirate movie, okay? So I like it. And I hope you all did like it, too. And, um, yeah, thank you guys, by the way, for tuning in this far. Um, we're halfway through the video. Um, if you guys would like to do me a quick favor, and just, and just in case you forgot, don't forget to go down there and hit that like button. It does help out the, the video get, um, get out there into the algorithm so other people can watch this video. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to go down there and subscribe today. Um, by the way, speaking of subscribing, thank you all once again for 1K subs. You guys are freaking awesome. You guys know that. But I'm just going to remind you. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Now, also, speaking of subscribing, go subscribe. Once again, I'm going to remind you guys, go and help out Noriko. Go subscribe to him. And go, of course, help out R. Lewis over on Twitch. Um, uh, R. Lewis has a Twitch account. You guys can go follow him. And, of course, Noriko has a YouTube channel. Go subscribe to him. Awesome guys. I play with them here and there. Um, pretty nice to play with. They're pretty good players, too. Um, so, you know, nonetheless, yeah. So, anyway... We're up to 59,000 damage. We got a uh, assistant capture in our name, um, and we're doing pretty decent up to this point. Now, we have to be careful here because I'm hoping, I'm, I'm really worried about this team possibly throwing here. Now, notice we're using our concealment to our advantage. We're putting that big A island right in between ourselves and that vanguard, so we're able to lob some HE shells at him. But I'm like, eh, screw it. He's not even paying attention to me. He's paying attention to Noriko, uh, to Noriko there, and Noriko is getting absolutely obliterated because we know the King George V only has like 26, 25 millimeters of bow armor, which means those vanguards, 15-inch guns, can go straight through his armor no matter what. So, um, yeah. Now we're up to 78,000 damage, showing off the DPM on this thing and the fire starting capabilities that this thing has. Um, it is nasty. Now, you guys could easily swap out um, refill station or fully packed for um, EOP. I've, run, I've ran EOP before, and sometimes I do like to put it on. Um, but sometimes, though, I like to have that extra fire chance um, over the extra penetration on the HE shells. That fire chance is dirty. 15% fire chance, and you're shooting 15 guns every, what, 8, 9 seconds? That is disgusting. Um, that is just really, really disgusting. But, um, yeah. So we're already up to 88, uh, or now 89,000 damage. We are just racking up the damage. So people who like the damage numbers, here you guys go. This is going to be one of those matches where we absolutely just go crazy in. So, yeah, now we're being careful here. I know not to get too aggressive here. We're a Boise. We don't have any armor. We're a Brooklyn-class light cruiser for Pete's sake. We're not going to be able to tank really anything. So we're sitting at range. We're using our maneuverability, the, the little bit that we have. Um, and we're not being overly aggressive here. There's no need for me to push these guys. All I need to do is be a supporting role, help my team from range. You know, just, pr just give some fire support, basically. Because I don't have the armor to tank hits at all. So, um, yeah. Now, uh, I start taking some shots at this Fiji. I do actually get some pretty decent hits landed on him using some of the auto aim, of course. I do that a lot. You guys probably noticed that. Um, but it's such a broken feature in this game. Why not exploit it, right? <laughs> like, it's in the game, so who cares? Um, and unfortunately, by the way, Noriko does go down. Um, really, not much he could have done, um, but he did do pretty damn good, though. You gotta give it to him. He was up against a, a freaking Warspite 
or not a war spy, a, um, <laughs> a, he was up against a, um, a vanguard that had 15 inch guns, which could just overmatch the crap out of him. And, uh, yeah, at least though, the, he, uh, he had a little bit of support there and they were able to take out that, uh, that, uh, that, um, vanguard. So I think that was a worth trade. Um, a tier six battleship for a tier seven battleship. I think that was worth it. So, and, um, yeah, now the Fiji did go down, I believe to the, uh, to the destroyers torpedoes. And, uh, yeah, now the only ship left is an enemy Turpits and a Destroyer. I don't know what the Destroyer is, um, but it is an enemy Destroyer nonetheless. Now we're up to 94,000 damage. We've got a bunch of fire set. We've got a plane shot down, some secondary hits when we were, when we were brawling with the Azuma. That was pretty funny. And, uh, yeah, we've got some Citadel hits and some incapacitations. And, of course, most importantly, the Capture Ribbon. You know, you got to be capping those bases. Oh, that's very important. And real quick, shout out to the Destroyer on my team. He has been doing absolutely fantastic. And by the way, the enemy destroyer is an ALU Kakazi. Just look there. But, um, yeah, but a shout out to that Akatsuki that's on our team. He's been capping bases, doing his job. And that's really, guys, what your job is in a destroyer. Your number one job is to capture bases and spot the enemy. And, of course, take out other destroyers if you can. And, uh, now luckily, we are here with our Akatsuki. So we are able to, uh, provide some fire support on this enemy Yukikazi. Unfortunately, the Akatsuki takes a torpedo. Not much he can really do about that. It is what it is. But um, yeah, now we still um, we still have two caps. The enemy still has two caps, and uh, it looks like our cruiser to the north is going up to Alpha. If we can get that cap, if we can get that cap flipped, um, this game could turn into uh, could turn into a potential win here. I'm hoping we can win this game, um, but who knows? You guys will have to see until the end of the video if we win or lose or not. But um, yeah. Now we're up to 101,000 damage. It looks like we did manage to get a fire on the enemy destroyer. That's why we're still ticking damage. Um, so not too bad at all. I was really hoping to kill him. Maybe the fire might get him, but yeah. And then the turpits. I was like, oh my gosh. I thought the turpits would actually go north, but instead he decided to come south and help his destroyer out, which is the right move. Which is the right move. And really, I should have turned around much sooner. But I wanted to make myself as narrow as possible, which really didn't work out for me. <laughs> I just took a few penetrations right through the bow. So what I'm going to do now is try to turn out and uh, just try to get some fires. The turpits did damage Khan, the uh, single fire I got on him. Now I'm, I'm hoping I can uh, get a follow-up fire um, on him or more. If I can get a double fire or even a triple fire, that'd be great too. Now, those 15-inch uh, 15 15-inch guns. Yeah, 15-inch guns smacking into me still really hurting me now we did get a follow-up fire and uh, here in a second um we're gonna get a second fire just like that and by the way 119,000 damage in we've got our high caliber we are brawling with the turpits right now i don't even know how we're even still alive but we're about to go down there's nothing i can do i'm in something called the death zone i quickly switch over to the to the destroyer hoping to get some shells on target to do as much damage to him as possible dds need to die i can't say that enough but we go down but uh, I'd say that was a success, ladies and gentlemen. What do you guys think? I think that was a success. We did our job. We helped the destroyer as much as we could, although we couldn't kill the enemy destroyer. By the way, there's our witherer. 17 fires in. There's our witherer. And uh, we actually did get a triple fire on that turpits, and that triple fire is still burning on him. We're up to 147,000 damage, 149,000, 150,000, 51, 52, 53... We're still ticking damage. 154, 55, yeah. Yeah, fires are just disgusting in this game. We all know it. We all love it. Well, we all may not love it, but um, we definitely love it when we're the ones dishing out the HE spam. <laughs> 158,000 damage, 159k, and I think that is it. Yeah, we clocked out at 159,000 damage. We had one kill, a high caliber, a witherer. Um, we had also a, uh, of course, we had a assisted cap, uh, capture ribbon. We had a few citadels. Yeah, 17 fires. I think we did pretty all right there, guys. What do you guys think? But anyways, yeah, we're just gonna, um, basically see the outcome of this game. It looks like that mines did manage to capture Alpha, um, which, uh, or not the mines, the other cruiser, the Edinburgh managed to capture Alpha, which I believe just capping that base just secured us that win. So GG's. To everybody in that match, um, thank you, uh, Noriko and R. Lewis, for uh, playing with me um, last night. That was an awesome time. 
we had a few good games and uh yeah so everybody who was uh who is also watching make sure to go check out their channels i got their uh, stuff linked in the description of the video um you guys can go check out noriko's youtube channel and of course our lewis's um twitch um channel as well go give them some love go give them the support um they do they do deserve and uh yeah match is pretty much over guys pretty much over 15 minutes in and uh, that's a gg if i ever seen one so yeah battle ended loading the battle results now let's see what we did we kind of went over it a couple times already but yeah victory nonetheless team did pretty good that game i'd say 159,000 damage Ooh, that's just fantastic with a high caliber top of the leaderboard a 3.3k base or 3.1k base rather but uh yeah if y'all like the video like it subscribe leave a comment tell me what you guys thought of it but i will see you all in the next one peace out stay healthy as always